Three to five. Of rising number of cases Works could put pressure on the NHS. Staff absences in England were up on the week before. The NHS is coping with the impact Perfect of COVID alongside emergency pressures, trying to recover the backlog, and of course delivering the vaccination booster program as well. We'll be discussing today's latest findings and what it means for the NHS. Also this lunchtime. A stark warning from the energy industry, household bills could rise by up to 50% next year unless the government intervenes. Waiting for a parcel delivery? Beware of scam text saying you owe postage. More than half a million such messages were expected to be sent this week. In his annual news conference, Russia's President Vladimir Putin rejects accusations that he's preparing. Slave, you see, there has been really bad like they. Yep, I think there. Signal is terrible. It's not the TV, it's a transmitter. Perfect place for me to get some. Look, I left a number of good therapists I know. Talking, she's very understanding. She's helped Richard a lot. Oh, that works, it's BBC. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC News at One. Early studies suggest the Omicron variant of coronavirus may cause milder illness than the Delta variant. Scientists say the findings are good news, but warn that the sheer... Mm. Okay. ...in England before Christmas. Meanwhile, new figures show a growing number of health staff in England are having to stay away from work because of COVID. Our first report is from our health correspondent, Dominic Hughes. The last few days before Christmas have brought some better news. Early studies of the Omicron COVID variant suggest it may lead to fewer hospitalizations than the previous Delta wave. That's the good news. But researchers say the true number of people who are getting infected is much higher than the official figure, and there will be some challenging days ahead. So we're picking up asymptomatic infections as well as symptomatic infections. So a different bunch of people than, the, than people who may be uh, reported for testing uh, through the national program. So all that's telling us that there is a lot of cases, but for any individual it might be less severe, but oh, it's TV. Level, uh, there's going to be very severe no infections on, on the health service. As COVID infections continue to soar, health leaders have been warning of a looming staffing crisis. NHS workers are just as vulnerable to the highly infectious Omicron variant as the rest of us. And with staff falling ill, hospitals, ambulance and community services are all being hit. The impact of staff absences is on top of existing staff shortages. And normally, trust leaders would be looking to fill the gaps through bank and agency staff. That's getting harder to do. The latest data from N. Pop bang! Shoes! You say shoes! God knows what's going on with the signal. More than double to around 3,900. The NHS workforce is already uh, under pressure before Omicron came along. There's increased pressure there as we're seeing in many workforces at the moment, especially if someone needs to isolate if they have a, a positive case. Uh, but uh, some of the recent moves we've had from moving to 10-day to 7-day isolation, if you take tests in the last two days, I think all of this will help. Between 30 and 40. These are the ages of some of the people fighting for their lives. Sky code is a graphic one, illustration one, of the seven, pressures seven, the health services facing from TV. Liverpool City Council. Filmed in the intensive care unit 12, of the Royal Liverpool, it shows how one, every one, patient needing seven, treatment seven. is relatively young and unvaccinated. The message is simple, get vaccinated. 
In Wales too, where waiting lists for planned procedures have hit a record high, there are warnings that nearly one-fifth of staff could be off with Covid in January. NHS England's top doctor says the health service is now on a war footing and the best weapons in the fight against the Omicron variant remain vaccines and boosters. Dominic Hughes, BBC News.